All right, folks, check it out. You done read that title. You know what I'm doing. Today, I'm going to give you guys a proper technique to go ahead and make the perfect omelet. Now, listen, this is super simple. I'm going to make it two ways. I'm going to show you guys how to make a country-style omelet, and then I'm going to make one more traditional the way, you know, you guys are used to. Really, it's all in the technique, right? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grade my cheese because I ain't never had an omelet. I haven't ever had an omelet that didn't have no cheese in it, right? So I like to look for the small part. I grade my cheese so that it'll melt properly, you know what I mean? And then we just work this down. Look, the smaller it is, the easier it is to melt, folks. So you don't need a whole lot of cheese. Get yourself backed up with all this cheese, you know? All right, so look, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to scramble these eggs, right? So let me go ahead and get these cracked. Now, I'm doing this right here, even though I have the whisk here, because a lot of people don't have a whisk. I do not know why. I'm sure some of y'all be going to Target. Don't forget, we got Amazon, Walmart. You want to get yourself, you know, like the small whisk and a, you know, a larger size whisk. But me talking, just moving fast, it's quick for me to grab on myself, you know, to do it the old school way, the fork. Now look, I'm starting off with like a little medium, a little more low on the uh, flame than actual like a medium, right? Because we don't want it to be too high, high. And we don't want to like burn our butter or nothing like that. So you start putting some heat in there. Then you want to go ahead and just add yourself, you know, some butter. Now the first one I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna do the country style. Now you can always add yourself some olive oil. You know what I mean? This is extra virgin. This is my garlic infused. Now don't forget we're doing an omelet. The garlic infused will be real nice. You know what I mean? Just adding a lot of flavor to it. So, and this butter right here will make it nice and buttery, right? We want to go ahead and let that melt. Now the key is to take your time. You know what I mean? You don't need a whole lot of heat, right? You don't want it to be intense. You see that right there? Look. That's what you want. Look, you can see a little bit of the boil, right? So now we're going to go ahead and just add, you know, our egg mixture. Now we're just doing a country style omelet. You see how it starts to cook on the edges? This right here starts right, right, right away, right? So what you want to do is get yourself a spatula and you just want to bring that in like that. Just like you see. Let me check my heat. I might need to raise it. No, we good. But you see how it just cooks? Like just, I'm showing it to you in real time. Right? You just want to make sure your, you know, your pan is nice and centered. If you guys are using a uh, gas burner, you know what I mean? Uh, it's got to be centered so that it can work. See how over here it's not working? So I need to bring it over here a little bit just to get my heat right. So we just start taking it just like this. And then as you see, it starts to like run out of the egg mixture. Then I kind of like tilt it just like this so they can cook. Now here is where I like to go ahead. Some, you know what? I was growing up brought up when my, my grandmother would make omelets and even scrambled eggs and everything, what she did was she put everything in like her salt and pepper inside of hers. But this is the way I like to do it this way. Then I add myself a little salt, right? Now you guys got two ways. You can either start, you want to kind of like cook this, but country style uh, omelets are a little bit softer in the inside and it has, you know, have a little time to, you know, to cook, right? But since I did that, I'm gonna go ahead and just flip it. So I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's a little bit more fluffier as we push the edges on. But this is a country style, you know, omelet, right? So this one right here, I'm just gonna put cheese on it. You know what I mean? And just a little onion. You just put it on the side. I didn't already turn my heat off because the residual heat will help, you know, cook and melt everything, right? So we do it like this. Bring the onions. Just bring them in like that. Then I'm gonna get myself a big spatula. And then what we do right here is we just fold it over. Right. Again, I turn the fire off. We let the residual heat go ahead and melt everything. Get yourself a plate. And then we just do it like that. And that there is a country style omelet. All right, so this next one's gonna be a little bit more traditional to the way that, you know, that we all used to, you know, making it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this down like this, cause I'm gonna do ham, both red and green, and then add some onion and cheese to it also, right? Let me set this out the way. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and, and slice this down so I can go ahead and dice it. All 
Okay, folks, look, I want you guys to notice, look, I got a whole new t-shirt on. I had to change up everything. Listen, yesterday when I started my film and I had to leave. So listen, that country style omelet, listen, they devoured that. You guys saw how we make that. Now, again, I'm getting ready to show you guys how to make a regular traditional style omelet just like this. Right? So first thing we're getting ready to do is we're going to go ahead and crack our eggs. And then this is going to be a thing. It depends on how big your dish is. You want to have enough room because we're going to flip this one. I'm going to say two eggs is all you're going to need. And then what we're going to do is put just a dab of, uh, this is whole milk, right? So I'll just put just a little bit. That's enough right there. Right? Just to make it a little bit more on the fluffy side. Get your whisk or your spork and go ahead and break your yolks. Now that's going to kind of settle. What I should have did was first, which I'm going to do right now, look at this. Just get yourself a tablespoon of butter. Let's get some heat. Now I'm going to show you guys the heat setting that I use. Hopefully you can see it. You know what I mean? Uh, bring this down because we want to melt this nice and slow. And we don't need all that heat in the pan. Right? So let me just add my butter. Right? So you can see it's starting to put a little heat in the pan. And then I'm going to add just a little bit of this extra virgin olive oil in there. Just a little bit. That's all you need. We just want to protect that butter. Now we're going to let that melt. As you can see, look, our butter's melted, right? So now I'm going to go ahead and add in my onions. I like mine to have a little onion in it, right? Then I'm getting ready to add in my red bell peppers. Now this part is completely optional to you guys. You know, you do what you want to do and what you want to eat, right? You can Here you can go ahead and add yourself in, you know, mushrooms, anything. You can go in that refrigerator, look in there, Whatever you want to add to it, you just add to it, right? Now we put a little, I like for it to have a little meat in it too. I just want to get everything mixed with the butter. I want to cook down the onions just a little bit. I want it to release some of that flavor. You know what I mean? I do like the integrity that the, the uh, veggies give. I like to have a little bit of a bite to it, just a little bit. If you guys cook these down here, you still have a little left over, you can add some when you, you know, flip it. Now I just give it a re-whisk. Right, don't forget we add a little bit of that whole milk to it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just come around like really on the outside, and then I work my way in the middle, just so that I can get all of my veggies, you know, completely covered. Now I don't do nothing right here, this is what I ask. And really this is about the technique of how to make, we just leave it there, make sure your pan is centered, the heat is coming up, don't forget it's got to come out. So you can see it's cooking really fast on this side, but not so much on that side, so I just make a little adjustment here. Now here, I'm gonna go ahead and just give this a light pinch of uh, kosher salt, right? Now, again, you see this right here where this is starting to cook? You see how the edges look? You can look right there, it just moves around, right? I like to get myself a spatula, you know what I mean? And then I do this. I tilt it, and what we're doing is we're just letting some of the egg, you know, mixture get underneath. All right, so when you see it like that, see it's still a little bit on the soft side, right? I'm gonna pick it up, it should do this, once it does that, then you're good, right? It's not completely runny, and then all we're gonna do is we're gonna give it a toss and flip it. If you guys don't have it that way, you can always stick a plate on this side, flip it, and take it off of the plate and put it back in there. It, that depends on your skill. All right, so now we're just gonna go ahead and add our cheese here. Now here's the part where you guys can get down. For all you cheese lovers, you know what I mean? Uh, do your thing. I just like it like that. We got the veggies and the meat in the inside. That's good enough for me. Now I like to always have a little bit left over because once I flip it, I like to add a little cheese on the top. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and turn my fire off. The pan is hot enough. It'll finish, you know, keeping everything warm. Then we take it like this. We roll that over like that. Right. And now, we go ahead and add just a little bit more cheese to it. You guys can do it here or you can do it on a plate. Doesn't really matter. You know what I mean? And uh, holler at your boy when you're ready to eat one of these omelets. But now you guys got your secret. Now you know. I'm finna hit it with a little bit of black pepper. And then for those of you guys that are, are watching your salt intake, like myself, we'll just put this in the plate. And then when you serve it, let them add their salt to it the way they would like to. And then you can just go ahead and serve it on the plate like that, and there you have it. Okay, folks, look, it's time for me to go ahead and get down with the get down, right? So listen, as I referred back to earlier in the video that I had to leave, that's why this omelet right here is not the country style, right? I guess I could have went ahead and remade it, but you guys can go back, look at the video, and just see how it is. Remember, we pushed the edges up. Hey, listen, I'm not finna over talk it. I feel like, mm, you know what? I'm uh, one with these omelets. So I'll go ahead. Let's do it like this. I'll do it just so that we guys, so you guys can see it. 
you know what I mean? Then when you pick it up, you know what I mean? You can see the cheese. It depends on how much cheese you guys put on there, right? I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Cheers. This right here made my day. No, hold on. <laughs> hey, if you look down right there, I'm trying to fight out the rest, fight off the rest of these cats, man, from everybody trying to hurry up and get y'all. So I went and got my half of this one because this was the warmest, right? If you guys make omelets or anything that, you know, that come from my channel or anywhere, anything you want me to see, I want you guys, if you have an IG account, right? Go to IG, go ahead and post it and use this hashtag. Hashtag S-N-G-W-I-T. A, B, and let me go ahead and take a look at what you got. You guys probably inspire me. If you want to talk to me, we can do it there and all of that, right? Now, don't forget, the full ingredient list is on my website, and that's smoking and grilling with AB.com, and that's W-I-T-A-B.com. Now, if you're new to my channel, let me take the time to say thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button, and tell everybody out there, there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And you know what, folks? I'm finna pull a gangster. I'm out. Peace.